Hey everybody, it's Patrick here from Applied Tactical Training Academy along with John Matter and you probably recognize me from the One Shot Kill It Media channel. Uh, me and John have been working hard in the uh, behind the scenes here uh, to get some other things put together for you and uh, we're going to be doing a lot of different videos coming up on product reviews, training and other items along those lines. And uh, speaking of that, this is our first unboxing with a really, really exciting product. This is called Yellow Jacket. And uh, what it is, it's a, uh, a phone case stun gun. Uh, but first what I want to do is have John give you a little background on his professional career. As you know, I'm kind of just the gun guy. I like to shoot uh, and I make videos and I tell you about the products I like. John, on the other hand, brings much more professional experience in terms of the military uh, to the reviews that we'll be doing. So you're going to get a lot of real world feedback from somebody that's been in the thick of it all. So John, why don't you go ahead and uh, you know, just give the folks a little, you know, information on your background here. Well, I started out in the United States Marine Corps. I uh, became a sniper. I was a sniper for about 13 years. Um, while I was in the Marine Corps, I was also a professional fighter. Uh, I fought for 13 years also. Uh, big into Muay Thai, uh, kickboxing, and jiu-jitsu, which I still am very, very much involved with. Um, I was shot several times while, while overseas. And... Uh, because of that, I called the quits a little bit early. So I was about 13 years in the military. I called the quits, and we started a company. Now we train, we train uh, military, we train police and counterterrorism and sniper and SWAT tactics. And uh, I do a lot of coaching and fighting still. And but my, my biggest passion right now and lately has been our self-defense classes. Uh, we have a lot of women coming, uh, nurses and uh, traveling salesmen and people who sell homes and houses. And they, they come to me all the time and say, hey, I'm, I'm in uncomfortable positions too often. What can you do to show me, you know, what, what can you give me to make myself feel more comfortable? I won't carry a gun. That's why I'm so excited about this product here. All right, awesome, John. Thank you so much for bringing us up to speed on your background Absolutely. here. As always, Absolutely. thanks for your service, man. My it's, pleasure. Uh, it's amazing hearing this guy's stories. He will talk your ear off about everything, but it's worth every single second you get to hear. So hopefully you come to some of our classes so you can meet him in person and talk with him. Come on over. I'd love to see you. Awesome. All right. So what do you think? Should we get this thing cracked open or what? I, I'm super excited about this. Let's get this open and, and, and so we can see how effective this could possibly be. Perfect. First thing I see here is this specific unit is made for uh, Fitz. It says Fitz iPhone 7, 7S, and 8. Very cool. Very cool. Um, do you know on the website, I don't think Android's available yet for this type of product, but I think it was in development. Yep. Is that accurate? I read that. I, I read on the website that they're in the process of developing uh, units for Android phones, which, which is pretty cool. Very cool. All right. Go open it up. Let's flip open. This is pretty cool. First thing I see here is a warning. Okay, because as unassuming, and this is a cell phone case, uh, first and foremost, this is a this is a electronic defense device, and it will and can hurt you if, if, if used properly or, or improperly. So, you know, it, it's just letting you know that, that, you know, this is a cell phone case, but it's dangerous if you, if you use it. Perfect. Let's open it up. I'm trying to destroy this box too much in the process. <laughs> Get it open here. The packaging is nice. Overall. Packaging is nice. It looks nice. It has good pictures of, uh, of the product. Take that out. All right. So we got that warning that we talked about. Okay. Uh, get this warning out. First thing I see here. Actually, before we even start looking at stuff, it's a well-made case. Okay. And uh, it feels good in your hand. It's not super heavy. It's about as heavy as an iPhone. Um, I have a friend that we just talked to, Chris, the other day. Yeah. Uh, that he said that he paid two hundred dollars for for an extra battery. Oh, wow. Okay, so, <laughs> so at the very least, you have a well-made extra battery, okay? We haven't even talked about the cool stuff yet. I was so. going to say, that's about the size of some of those anchor chargers, so yeah. I didn't know he paid that much for an extra battery. That's why. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's, it's a little bit crazy. You know, and it was a few years ago. They might be cheaper now, but, oh, okay. but if anything, you know, it, it, it's a hard rubber case, uh, just like any, any high-end uh, cell phone case you're going to buy. Perfect. Uh, inside here, we have packaging. Cool. It looks like it's the... Oh, screen protector? All right, so this is a screen protector, okay? It's a... Nice. Uh, you know, it's a pretty hefty screen protector. Um, we have wipes for the screen protector, which is nice. Uh, inside we have, this is the owner's manual, all right? This tells, uh, you know, well, first page open to it. It tells where to engage a person, you know, in, in, a, in, a, in a high stress situation, which is kind of cool. Um, you, gotta, you gotta work with it. You know, you can't just buy this thing, put it in your purse and say, hey, I'll figure it out when, a, when, when a, you know, a bad situation occurs. So. Just like anything, you know, get used to it, work with it. But for that, see if there's anything else. Oh, 
All there right. You go. Is that so USB cord? we do have the USB cord. I was reading up on this a little bit. Once the phone is in here, you can with this USB cord charge up the your phone, the battery, and the electronic device at, at the same time. Nice. Uh, this battery will hold the charge on your phone for 24 hours, and it'll always have enough to engage engage with with the stun. I was reading about that as well too, which, which and that's nice because nice, even if you turn this on to charge your phone, say you know you don't have access to a wall charger or anything, it will always have enough battery to be able to to actually use the stun gun portion of the uh, the product here. So very very cool feature. I very thought. Cool. Hey, so far th this thing's cool. You know every, everything I said it was, it is. It feels good in your hand. It's not massive. Um, put that down. This is a tether, and anyone in the military, you know, we know it's called this a dummy cord. And uh, I think it'd be in everyone's best interest to use this and understand that in a high stress situation, you might drop your phone. So if you have it, if you have it wrapped to your wrist, it's not intimidating. Sure. Right? As opposed to having a stun gun, you know, or a knife or a gun. Yeah. You know, this doesn't look like it's going to hurt somebody, but you're in a position where you can defend yourself properly. Yeah. Uh, which is another thing, you know. For example, my wife, uh, she's an educator. She won't carry a gun. That's just personal preference. And sure. I'm, I'm, I've become okay with that. I yeah. talk about it. You know, we've been married long enough that she told me to kiss her ass. I'm not gonna tell her. I'm not gonna tell her she has to carry one. But uh, I'm positive, if this works as good as is, I hope it does. Mm -hmm. She will carry something like this. Yeah. You know. Um, all right. So a, a tether. You know, get used to. If it's on your phone, it's not in the way. Get used to using it. Perfect. So looking at this actual unit itself, this is a two-piece unit. Um, so what happens here is you actually have a little connector piece and it, it slides in. I'm trying to think of the best example. I mean, it's not quite like Legos, uh, but either way, you don't always have to have the stun gun portion attached. You can use this just like you would a regular phone case. And maybe if you're walking outside at night to your car, you can actually attach the stun gun portion to it at that point. Um, here, let me take a look at it for a second, see what we can do here. I think there was a little locking mechanism. Here we go. So let's just do this. There we go. Boom. Comes apart real easy. And you can see there's little portions where you just slide these on here to have them connect. I'm just going to make sure the other camera can take a look at that and see it too. And this is kind of cool. You know, the way I would use this is, you know, I'm a concealed carry guy. Yep. Right? I'll carry a gun. I live in a, in a pretty, you know, non-threatening part of town. So sure. I don't carry a gun everywhere I go. But I want to have access to it whenever I need it, you know. Mm -hmm. So I would consider this my everyday carry, yep. and I would have this ready to carry, you know, if I'm going to a bank, if I'm going sure. in any kind of place where I'm going to be around other people. So you know, so if if if, if this intimidates you at first, you can carry it like this, and then and then learn this and be comfortable with it. Once you're comfortable with it, then you can use it. Exactly. You know, like like anything, you don't want to carry it around if you have no idea what's going on with it. So yep. I think this is an outstanding uh, addition. Uh, this is a little, you know, any kind of iPhone dock. If you have a, you know, a dock for a radio or anything, you, you'll, you're used to that. You'll, yeah. you'll plug right in. Uh, I imagine that has a tendency to get loose sometimes, but it, it, it looks pretty well made. Yeah. Uh, I'm, the only thing we'll have to do is, is test this out and see what happens. Because I know I've had, this is nothing against this product, but I've had the little clock radios where you have your iPhone thing where you put it on there and you're supposed to charge it. And sure enough, that cracks off within the first week you have it. Absolutely. So we'll give this a, a test run and we'll let you know how it fares after some regular usage. And by test run, I'm going to beat the shit out of this thing. You know, yep. I'm a professional fighter. I do jujitsu four or five times a week and, and I'm going to bring this with me to jujitsu and I'm going to beat the hell out of it and tell you how much it works. And then we have a girl, Jennifer who's also an outstanding fighter. She's about 105 pounds, and uh, she's, she's a bad girl. She's electric. She's electric. <laughs> and, uh, and, 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 you know, when we're done with this, we'll let you know how good this thing really is. But, again, right now, it feels good in your hand. It's well-built. It's comfortable. It comes apart. Good cell phone case, good cell phone case, good extra battery. So far, I'm, I'm super stoked so far. This, this I is say multiple uses is what's it, really cool it, about It really this. is. You know, you can't, you can't go – right now, you can't go wrong. It, it, yeah. I don't see any flaws yet. Cool. Well, let's take a look at some of the specifics of how this item functions here, too. So I'm just going to slide this back together here quick. And that's, that's nice and easy. And, it clicks <laughs> and, 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 and you actually hear an audible pop. You actually hear yep. it clicking back in. It's not cheap. It's, it's, it's well made. It slides right in here, and you can hear it click, and go. it's not going nowhere. You could throw this thing across the room. I'm pretty confident it wouldn't go anywhere yeah. right now. 
And it looks like, you know, it is phone specific like we were talking about. So this will fit, a, uh, what is it, iPhone 7? So 7, 7S, and 8. Okay. 8. okay. okay. So, so, so you can see there's like the little volume buttons. There's the power button on the side. So it does, it, it keeps all your regular functions on your phone just like normal. Um, let's take a look at where is the, the main power switch for where you'd start the battery um, to turn everything on. Let's okay, see. so I look back here. I was playing around with this. Okay, first this is where you plug it into. And okay. it's got a waterproof case over it, so you can plug, you can clog that up. You're not gonna get any water, dirt in there. Uh, looks like right here, you turn this on, and right there, you see that it, that 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 the machine is working. Uh, that looks like a test button. Okay. So I'd imagine that turns off eventually, and sure. you can test it. Right now, like we said, we just got this out of the box, and it has one it has one uh, light showing, and it has four potential lights. Okay. So obviously so you're full charge. Obviously we're at quarter charge. Right yep. <laughs> now, you know? And 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 like it says on, on the website, uh, it is effective with quarter charge. Okay. okay? It, it's built it's built to be effective with with one with one dot charge. Yep. Okay, yep. And and as as per the website. Yep. You know? And that goes so. back to no matter what, whether you're charging your phone with it, if you couldn't get to a wall charger then you're always going to have enough power on there to be able to deliver a shock to somebody that's trying to attack you. Absolutely. You know, awesome. and, that, and, that, and that's what it's here for. Okay. So right here, you know that it's on. This here is the button that's going to engage the prongs that come out and actually actually turns into an electronic defense device. Okay. Um, let, let, let's talk real quick about what this is as electronic device. Okay. This is a plain, a pain compliance device, meaning that that it's designed to, to hurt you and hurt an attacker, much like a knife. So I would consider this like electronic knife. Sure. As opposed to a police issued electronic device where there's a projectile, it throws out a projectile and that projectile actually interferes with the brain's ability to talk to the muscles. Sure. Okay. So this isn't gonna make me collapse if I get hit with it. It's just gonna make me say, holy shit, that hurts. Absolutely, it's yeah. gonna hurt, it's gonna feel like you're being burnt. Yeah, okay. okay. Now, here's why that's good. With an MNI device, like a police issued MNI device, what, which, which takes over your body and doesn't allow you to move, okay? In a fighting situation, these two prongs are gonna come out, and unfortunately, just like with, with fighting with a knife, you might hurt yourself with it. You might, you might nail yourself there's with it. The there's always the potential always potential, yourself okay? to get injured. So you don't wanna put yourself in a position where if you nail yourself with it, you're out, and, and he's gonna take your wallet or, or God forbid something worse, yeah. right? So, so again, Consider this more of a knife than a than an electronic device that'll, that'll seize you up like you see on cops. Sure. Right? You okay. know, so and and in my opinion, if this works properly, it is it is much much more effective than a device like a police officer's electronic device. You, you can use this like a knife as a, as a fighting technique, and uh, you know if, if people like this and, and if and if it if it works as good as I hope it does, I'll actually demonstrate you know how to properly use this in, in a fighting in a, in a street fight in the kind of a jujitsu kind of setting. So sure. I'm, I'm looking forward to that, but uh, let's make th let's make sure this thing is cool before we uh, waste our time. Cool, you know, zapping each other with it. <laughs> so let's talk about how to engage with this thing. Okay, uh, in a, in a, in an SOP, you want to have this in your hand. Again, you can walk down, you can walk in a mall with this. Okay, and, and not and not feel like you're intimidating little kids. Okay? Yeah. Now, in Wisconsin, you have to have a concealed carry permit to carry this. Okay, mm -hmm. this electronic device, even if you have this outside on on a clip. Yep. Okay? Whether it's uh, open carry or concealed. It, it, yeah, they, they, they don't consider electronic and, and mace and stuff like that. They don't consider that an open carry. Sure. You know, you don't you don't get a free pass for open carry. Okay? Gotcha. No, I don't, I don't necessarily agree with it, but you know, so so it's it's simple to get a it's simple to get a, a concealed carry. Okay, yeah. and and it would be in your best interest to get one. And we're in the legalities of of engaging someone with electronic. Yes, device. and that goes for anybody wherever you're watching from right now. Make sure your state, country, wherever you happen to be is okay with you carrying a device like this. Okay, all right, so I see here, it's, there's a big hefty button. You push that button up and you'll see these prongs pop out. First thing I notice is once you engage this fully, a big light comes on to let you know that you have it on, okay? Let's take a look, let's put it down here so they can see that on camera too. Okay, so, so I see, and again, this is kind of the first time I've really actually looked at this. And these are razor sharp prongs. Yeah. Which my concern was when I was thinking about this, my concern was, is it gonna be able to penetrate clothing? And, sure. And I can I can tell you for a fact that's not that's gonna pop through anything you're wearing. Yeah. Okay. Being in Wisconsin right now, it's about twelve degrees outside. We're gonna have car hard jackets on and stuff. This yep. might not pop through a jacket, but hey, 
it'll pop through your 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 you know your your gloves and your in your jeans oh, and, yeah. and anything else you have on. So you know once you start training with this weapon system, you're gonna have to understand that hey, there, there's gonna be specific targets and targets that are gonna be exposed. You know if if you have you know if you're at the beach, it's gonna be a lot easier to zap somebody. Oh you know? yeah. <laughs> so you know so uh, I I am really happy with the way this uh, these these. These prongs are developed because they, they they are like razor blades. They got little talons on there too. It looks like it goes stick inside. You, yeah, which is pretty cool. Turned around here, uh, the lights on shows you that it is on, which is which is nice. Now you can you can touch this. Okay, and I just found that out right now. I guess I should check that out first. The cool <laughs> thing about this is, you know, my wife throws this in her purse. If she grabs into her purse to grab this, she's not going to electrocute herself on on the, on the way out. Exactly. And it being a pain a pain compliance device. Even if you do something stupid and zap yourself, you're not gonna seize up and, and fall over and smash your face. Yeah. Okay. So you know. So again, this is more like a knife than a, than, than actually a pistol. Let's say. Okay. Real happy with this so far. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. And I mean, even with this, I don't know if you guys could all see this before because we're gawking at it here. Um, but when we're looking at it, you can see that this is actually lit up and everything too. So if you're in a low light situation, you know, you can at least identify where that button is that you need to press. One, one thing I did notice, it, it, it wasn't, it doesn't pop up. You have to, you have to physically put that up yes. and, and press it, okay? Now, while you put it up, the same button you use to push this up is a button you use to engage the system, okay? And one thing I like, like I'll teach in all my self-defense classes, you want to avoid fights by, by, by any means necessary. Yep. Okay. I talk about situational awareness and I talk about combative mindset, okay? I'd rather not any of my students ever physically engage with a bad guy. Sure. Right? Now, unfortunately, sometimes it happens. So we do know the FBI came out with a thing called the tour drill. The tour drill says at 21 feet, a bad guy can engage you before you take out your weapon and engage with them, yep. okay? So at 21 feet, you consider somebody a bad guy. Sure. Okay? So a cool thing with this is if you're talking about escalations of force, okay? That is a very intimidating escalation of force. That, that scares the hell out of me. Oh, yeah. Okay? And I know as a bad guy, right, simply doing this is going to make you think twice before you attack. Exactly. Right? And that's what you want to do. You, you want to give somebody the opportunity to not attack you over and over and over. Exactly. And I think, and if we have Jennifer use this, five foot, 100 pound Jennifer, yep. right, not very intimidating, but her doing this. It's a deterrent. It's pretty damn scary. Yep. Right? So I, I love that. I'd imagine that this will be as effective and use more often than actually engaging someone with this with this weapon yep. system, which is great. Exactly. You know, I don't care who you are or what you have. You don't want to ever get into a situation where you figure out, oh, let's find out who's tougher. Exactly. Right? And this kind of goes back to the idea of concealed carry, too, where how many times has a gun saved a life without a shot ever being fired, Absolutely. right? It's just a deterrent factor. And like you said, I mean, that is a, a perfect example of that where – you light that little sucker up for a second, and that's going to make anybody think twice about coming into your zone. And again, you know, I'm, you know, this is a product review, and I'm trying to be non-biased, but so far I love this thing. This thing is so cool, and if I present my, a weapon, if, if you're a concealed carry gun carrier, mm -hmm. if you present a weapon, that is a massive escalation of force. Yes. Okay? You have to be able to explain why you chose to do that yep. in the court of law, all right? Pulling your gun out and pointing at somebody is not a legal way to de-escalate a situation. Nope. Right, but having a cell phone in your hand is very legal. Yes. Right now, if you do this, okay, it, it you have to explain more, but it's still not anywhere near as morally intimidating. Morally, right? It, you, you know, yeah. you know, morally, I could do this, and I would love my wife to do that before her pulling a gun and pointing at someone. Yes. And a potential threat. Yep. Okay. So again, I couldn't be happier with this so far. This this is outstanding. Uh, these prongs are, are pushed up, and you have to really physically push them up and down. Yes. You know? Now, in a stressful situation, I'm confident I can turn that on, no problem. Yeah. Okay? And I've done it. This is the third time I've ever done it in my life, and I'm comfortable with it already. And what's that okay. come down to? It's, it's just like you teach at the Applied Tactical Training Academy classes. You know, it all comes down to repetition and learning your weapon system, right? Learning your weapon system, right? If you're not comfortable with this, you'd be doing yourself a disservice carrying it around. Exactly. Okay? So, all right, let's close this up. Real simple. Uh, you close it up and it completely disappears. Yep. Okay. That's another thing that I was kind of concerned about before before I actually opened the box. I was thinking, well, are there going to be some prongs that I can, you know, my kids are going to grab? Yeah. You know, now I have four kids, a 10-year-old, a 8-year-old, a 4-year-old, and a 2-year-old. Okay. It wouldn't be smart to have this laying around. No. Okay. But that's why it's great to have this. 
and I don't have, I have no problem with laying that around. Exactly. Right? And this can go somewhere where I feel comfortable with it. Now, if I do make a mistake, leave it on my kitchen table, okay? Pop this right in there, okay? You hear that audible clack, I know it's in there, okay? I'm pretty confident that my two-year-old wouldn't be able to open this up and engage himself with it. And, and turn the power switch and on. And turn the power switch on, okay? Yeah. Again, just like any loaded weapon, you don't want to have it around children. But if you do make a mistake, it has several, it has several safety devices to stop you from accidentally engaging somebody exactly. or, or a kid with it. And in, in, in a worst case scenario, okay, it's not an NMI, it won't seize the kid up and drop them. Yep. Okay? It'll hurt the hell out of them. Okay? Yep. It'll make and, them not touch it again. <laughs> and, and, let's, and let's never put ourselves in a situation where we figured it out. Yeah. All right, but I'm okay. I'm okay with having this around my family. Sure. As long as I know that I'm in charge of it and, yep. and I can take this off and have the actual dangerous part away from my kids. Yeah. Well, one thing I would look at too, and this is something that I find interesting. I'm just going to grab the case from here for a second. Now, when I'm looking at this and I see the, the power button, or I shouldn't say the power button, but the button that actually you know, engages the stun gun. The engagement button. The way that this works, I don't think, you know, if I go like this and drop it, it's not going to let that slide forward. You need to use a decent amount of force to actually push those prongs out. Yes. So just so you can see that, again, I'm going to drop it over here. I mean, that doesn't shift that button one bit. Not one bit. So that's impressive to me because there's, there's little things that manufacturers forget about when they're building items like this. And, yeah, you want a, a hideaway prong system, right? Well, you don't want that prong system to be too easy to, to pop out. And remember, even with these prongs up, unless this is on, this will not engage. Yep. All right, so there, there, there are safety features built into this and uh, outstanding. Outstanding safety features. I'm happy with this so far. Perfect. All right, so as you can tell, folks, John and myself are very, very excited about this product. Very and much. Um, the next thing we're going to do is, is get some video footage here and put together some videos of real-world testing. So, John, why don't you walk us through uh, some of our ideas that we have set up for the real-world tests, and if there's anything you want to see done, uh, let us know in the comments below. It's going to be real simple. Uh, we have an instructor named Jennifer. She's five foot tall, weighs about 100 pounds, okay? I'm gonna force her to use this on me and stop me from taking from her. Make it real simple. All right, we'll put her in a situation where she has to actually engage me with this. If it stops me, it stops me. And I'm, and I'm pretty confident, just looking through this thing, that I'm gonna be uncomfortable and not want to, 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 to fight forward, okay? Sure. That's the biggest thing. You're always giving an attacker reasons not to attack you more and more and more, okay? And this is what I'm confident that, that if, if, if this, is as good as it says, and I think it's going to be, mm -hmm. that I'm not going to want to continue my attack on Jennifer. Sure okay? thing. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And then we're just going to beat the hell out of this thing. We're going to make sure that it can get wet. We're going to make sure that it can be dropped. We're going to make sure that I can put it in my pocket and fall down. And we can throw, make sure that I can throw it in a bag, grab it, and not electrocute myself. Perfect. So it's going to be wonderful. Awesome. We'll put it through the ringer for you like usual. Uh, that's what we always do is we make sure that these products are going to be functional for you before you put your own hard-earned money down on them. Um, and yeah, other than that, like usual folks, thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Uh, when we make these videos, it gives us the opportunity to build relationships with different manufacturers, get these products in our hands and make sure that they're worth your time and your money. Um, overall, please go ahead and just subscribe to the YouTube channel like usual. Um, like I said, you've probably seen me on One Shot Kill It Media. That's the main channel. Uh, but ever since we created ATTA, Applied Tactical Training Academy, we did start a new YouTube channel specifically for those videos that John and I are going to be doing together here. So make sure you subscribe to those channels. Uh, like and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We'll always have different pictures and updates for classes, uh, cool videos, everything along those lines. Um, and yeah, just keep you up to date on what we have going on. Thanks again for tuning in, everybody. Um, we appreciate it. If you have something you want us to... Uh to check out. If you don't want to beat yourself up and, and, and kick the hell out of yourself, let us do it for you. We'll show you how it works. Good insight, John. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. We're really excited about this product, like we said, and we'll have a lot more updates coming for you soon. Thank See you. you. Soon. Thank you.